Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and today I have what I'm deeming a very exciting wedding dress try on video. One of my neighbors happened to stumble upon my husband the other day and asked if we wanted a ton of vintage wedding dresses for free. All have come from, I guess, a dry cleaner. She volunteers at a local shelter store. The store doesn't actually sell things out of the store. They sell on Poshmark and then the funds get given to the shelter. So somebody dropped them off. I'm guessing a dry cleaner by all the dry cleaning tags and the preservation boxes. And I think they're from the 60s through the 80s. I honestly don't know. I just know what I've seen. My husband set all of this up, 90% of this up, and I just stood up some boxes. So today I am going to be trying these on for my husband. It's going to be our 18th wedding anniversary here soon, just at the start of next month. I'm going to start with a little bit of makeup because I don't need to, but I think it'll be fun. So I will probably fast forward through most of this. I'm going to start with some, I love this stuff, Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's just a little bit of tinted balm. I realized that I have no shoes that are going to work for this, so I'll probably just put on my Birkenstocks. <laughs> I have them on now. I'm not going to be able to show you. Okay, good enough. Little bit of blush. And then we'll go for the eyes. Yesterday when I thought we were going to film this whole video sitting down, I tried to do a cat eye. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried a cat eye before. There's a good reason for that. Okay, mascara is gonna make all the difference. It always, always does. Do I need any other makeup? I should probably do powder to set this. I'm just not sure. I haven't had a wedding dress on. I was going to say since my wedding, but that's not true. I used my wedding dress as a Halloween costume when I taught at a before and after school program that was in an elementary school. And that was probably right after I got married. Probably the year after. So we got married in July, so it was probably the October after. And then I donated my dress. I loved my dress. I got it on sale. It was the first dress I had tried on. JC Penny Bridal was going out of out of business, and I know I've told that story before. I think it's like 150. It was under 200. Bear knows the price better than I do. And then I donated it to Goodwill and I saw it in the actual Goodwill. I was like, hey, it's my dress. And then it was gone the next time, so I don't know if what happened to it. But it was very early 2000s. It had a very high neck, like a racer back, very high neck. And then the back had all these thin little straps, little thin things with daisies on them. I loved it. I was probably about, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but probably 40 to 50 pounds lighter. It was really light. And the dress had to keep getting taken in, so I'm not very sentimental. I, I We don't have kids, so there's like nobody to care that I passed on my wedding dress, passed along my wedding dress. I think that's okay. I did have somebody apply my makeup that day. We had, uh, the girls and I had three um, people at my wedding, three bridesmaids, one maid of honor, two bridesmaids. And um, we had woken up fairly early because the only place that did makeup close to where I had lived in Pennsylvania, it's a very rural town, it was about a half hour away. And our church ceremony was like one o'clock or two o'clock or whatever. So we all had to wake up early to go do breakfast 
I don't know. I don't even know if we actually went to breakfast or somebody just gave it. I have no idea. My memory is so bad. Okay. I'm going to go with that. No, it's not looking great. I'm going to go get a rag. So, I was the last person to be having their hair makeup done. And I remember having like an hour. We were like, okay. And I had a thought of I wanted my hair down anyway and just very straight. I have kind of wavy, mumpy, frizzy hair. And everybody was like, are you sure you don't want it up? Are you sure you don't want it up? And now I'd be like, oh yeah, there's no way I'm leaving down my hair. But, but then I left my hair down. It's actually a lot longer now, probably. It's definitely not at its longest. But it was probably like, like that maybe. Okay, let's get some, nope, can't get lipstick because that's covered. I do have the brush. Maybe I'll just put that on my lips. It's not bad. A little bit of a highlighter. Do I have highlighter? I do. FabFitFun sent me this one. I was like, oh, I can barely see this. And then I really like it. Again, you probably won't be able to see this, but in real life, it's really pretty. could really use this is not a foundation brush or but I don't know what it is it's a big fluffy buff brush it was sent to me I have all of my brushes either for free from the bins or sent to me and these are my brushes you have now seen my entire brush collection this one was FabFitFun 2014 15 this one FabFitFun last year this year this one I found somewhere going to take some Advil because I have cramps which is so much fun to try and dress as while having cramps actually it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> now for the big try I'm gonna put my hair up it's because I will get warm that very quickly actually I just have a fan on okay first dress I think <laughs> do I go with like if a hat I have veils do I go with a veil the first time just to keep it oh it's so pretty so 80s I wish I had a slip I don't have slip I don't even have a real bra I don't own those Imagine and I'm not going to the store to buy those just to try on free dresses. So I'm just going to cut This part of me out or blur it. I don't know <laughs> This weighs 50 pounds. I, I don't even know if I can carry this It's pretty though, right? It's kind of pretty. It's so itchy. Let's see if I can do up the zipper. Don't come in!
Okay. I think it's from the 80s. I need it. I can't. I can't zip it myself. I think it'll zip, but I don't know if I even need it. Isn't it kind of pretty? Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to take this first dress off for now, just because I will sweat profusely, and then I'll put it back on. No, you're just supposed to react. Oh. Come over here in the opening so people oh. can see you. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? It's lovely. Thank you. Yes. I'm guessing it's from the 80s, right? I suppose so. Yeah. Do you like like my Birkenstocks? Yeah, those, those fit quite well. I have no shoes to wear with a wedding dress. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first saw you in a wedding dress. Mm -hmm. In J.C. Penny. Yes, it's overwhelming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come sit a little bit closer to the camera if you're going to talk. Oh, well, if you don't want me to talk, no, I don't. No, no, I want you to talk. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You can say that again. I remember my first time seeing you in a wedding dress in J.C. Penny's almost... 18 years ago, probably over 18 years ago. Over 18 years ago. Over 18 years ago. Yeah, about 19. I think yes. we bought it in August. And then yes. we got married the following July. And then I didn't want to see it anymore because it was... I know! You were the only person with me because we had planned to buy jeans that day. Yeah. And they just had wedding dresses wedding on dress. clearance. Yeah. They might have wedding dresses on clearance now since all the JCPenney clothes. <laughs> I think their bridal section closed in like 2000. I think my mom wore something like this. This will zip, there's just no point in literally zipping it and then unzipping it and I'm sweating. Okay. Like crazy, because can you feel the weight of this? Like yes, this I can. The entire thing is yeah. so heavy. Yeah, it doesn't seem fun at all. I know. <laughs> My dress is really heavy, but it was sleeveless, it was like a racer back, and I don't remember sweating. Okay. Did I sweat? It was July in an unair conditioned church. It was, but I don't remember it being overly warm. I don't remember. I don't remember either. You had a tux on, yes. a suit or whatever, a with white socks. No, no, no. I, I said white socks. You were like, should I go with black socks? I'm like, wear white socks. Okay. I, what? Well, people make fun of me for wearing it, and they thought it was a mistake, but it was on purpose. I thought it was cool. It is cool. It's so cool. Okay. We thought it was cool. It's cool. We say it's cool. Mm -hmm. Next dress. Next dress. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Dress number two, folks. Oh, that looks very nice. It's like a weird flapper style or like dropped hem. I'm not, yeah. it's a weird, I don't know if it's supposed to go up or down. It looks like one of those, this is my second wedding dress, not your first wedding dress. It's so pretty. I would say flapper would work, yes. Yeah, kind of like 70s does. It's Lily Rubin, so it's a really good name. You know it has a few marks on it. I know. But it's oh, it's much easier to wear. It's not super heavy or... Okay. We don't need any lights change or anything? Uh, maybe I'll turn the light on. All right. Okay, there's the second one. All right. It's a medium, so... I think I got the zipper yep. most of the way up by myself, you it's hard. Mm -hmm. It has like a weird back. Mm, well, it just has a keyhole. Yeah, is it supposed to be worn like this? I think it's supposed to be worn down. Okay, so yeah. just, it's mm -hmm. a weird... Yeah. Love it. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you see my veil? I do see your veil. It's not even a veil, it's just like a row of fake pearls. Okay. Okay. All right. Number three. It's a little... Okay, well, are you going to come out and yeah. show the folks? Beautiful. I think this one's more like 2000s. Okay. It's, it's got more of a feel of the dress I wore. That totally looks like something somebody would wear today, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. It has like booby pads in it. So okay. it just needs zipped up, but I'm not zipping. All right. Very you nice. have to do that with wedding dresses. Okay. That's the whole purpose. Nice. This one has a bustle too. It's like. Oh, yes, I think it's about to get the bustle. Okay. All right. Onward. 
Very sophisticated looking. Right? It's two pieces too. This like whole part comes up. Okay. And then it's, I, I'm not sure what this does. I don't know. Past that. What do you think? Well, I don't like the asymmetrical nubs, but it's very nice. Yeah. It's cool, I think. Yeah. I, I like the asymmetrical. I wore um, an asymmetrical dress to my sister's wedding as her matron of honor. Okay. Okay. This one's coming off. All right. I'll give you a few seconds before the next one. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. <clears throat> No, the hair down. New look for the. This one's like really slim the whole way. Yes. I can breathe, mm -hmm. but just. Well, as a bride, you don't really need to breathe that much. <laughs> you don't need to sit, breathe. No. Nope. It does zip the whole way though. Just need to look pretty. Yeah. There's removable straps. I didn't do them, but okay. like I'm going nowhere. Okay. I, I could do that. Okay. First musical reference. What? Going nowhere tonight, the raspberries. Very calm. Which is actually what's going to happen tonight. Going nowhere tonight. Yep, we are probably gonna watch HGTV. Not in a wedding dress. Not in a wedding dress. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Thanks. What's that little thing called that you hold like that? Is this called something? I, I think it's called not tripping. Oh, okay. I, I don't think it's meant to hold it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's like pretty traditional or something. Right? right? Yes. I don't think this veil goes with this. This veil has a dress that's like this big. And it's, I think from the 50s or 60s. I'll show it to you afterward. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can help date it. It looks like something like Priscilla Presley would have worn. Okay. But this one is very comfortable. Well, that's nice. Like, because it just doesn't. For a change, a body can be comfortable. Seriously. It's also very warm. We need comfortable and and not warm. It's look at that. Yes, very nice. Okay. What do you think about the headband? I think I like. Uh, I think I probably like without it. I want to cover up that face. I don't think it covers. You know what I mean. Yeah, I don't think it's meant. But look at it. It's like Priscilla. Oh, okay. And it's like covered in lace. It's super well made. It is. Very nice. So pretty. Okay. All right. My goodness. Plus, I look at all the fabric coming behind me. Is it all out? Yes. So this one doesn't have a top, so I just put on a tank top. Okay. Okay. Could it be that it's a cape? Well, you still would have to have a top. Right? You would have to have a top. I, I don't know what happened. Oh. The thing was like amazingly preserved. Oh, okay. Yes. It has a lifetime warranty certificate with it, like stamped. Okay, well. By Brian. Most marriages don't have a lifetime warranty. <laughs> It is real pretty. Yes. 
I, it was just packaged by itself, so I wonder if we have the dress that goes with it. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. All right. I lost my, my this. This is your hat. wedding hat. My wedding hat. See? I was too warm. I figured I'd cool off a little bit my own clothes and put on the hat. Sounds like a good plan. Where would you wear a wedding hat? Uh, to the Kentucky Derby. Maybe a royal wedding? Hat? Maybe. I think my head's too big for this hat. It like doesn't go up into it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna bring out a few dresses that don't fit. Okay. So yeah. you can stay there. I'm gonna give you a tip, but make sure you bring your train. Okay, so this one actually has arms. Could we Yes, good call. Okay. This one actually has arms. But okay. the arms, everything else fits. The arms are like this big. There's no way my arms are going to fit in those arms. So. Okay. But very similar look to all the rest, except it's kind of like an ivory color. Yes. And the train. Yes. Why? Yeah. How are people walking in these? Well, a lot of times that people carry them. I, you literally will just need that or just drag everywhere. Yeah. That's highly annoying. It is. Okay, I think this is the last one. I'm okay. gonna put my dress back on and I'll bring out like the last, last one that's not gonna fit because it's this big. Okay. So this one was super well preserved. It's tiny, tiny. Yes. I think it's a Duponti silk. It yeah, it has a more lifetime warranty. Yeah. Um, it is a size zero, 100% silk. The yeah. silk is super well made. So this is made by silkworms. And it has that like, um, you can see the lines of the worms. Mm -hmm. It would have been beautiful, but there's no way I'm getting into that. So there's that one. Yes. Pretend. Oh. Okay. There you go. That works. <laughs> That was very fun and kind of exhausting. You were a good sport. What did you think? Um, I think there was one that I liked in particular. I can't remember which one. Okay. It was one of the earlier ones. Okay. Did yes. it have sleeves? Do you remember any of it? No, no, no. I just thought maybe you remembered it had sleeves or not sleeves. I thought I would do really good by saying I liked one of them. Now you're asking me particular. <laughs> you did great. Too far. Okay. So this is the last one. This was the box inside the box. Oh, okay. So. It's also shrink wrapped. Yes. Um, and I, I couldn't imagine it fitting, and it looks like all the rest. Yes. So I thought, we'll just donate this one as is. Sure. We also have two flower girl dresses. Okay. Which, flower girl dresses. So our neighbor, I didn't actually tell the full story of how we got them. Do you want to tell that little story? Sure. Uh, I had our van down the street to be worked on. And I just left it there overnight and walked back. But then the next day they called and it was close to closing and they needed me to get there quickly to pick it up. So I went to my awesome neighbor, thank you, Angela, who is wonderful. And she just dropped everything and took me down. But when we got in her car, she said, oh, don't mind my car, I have it full of wedding dresses because of this organization she works for yeah. or volunteers for yes. was, was uh, you know, they try to sell them and using money for good causes, but they weren't able to get rid of them. And I said, well, you know, Melissa has a channel. And she said, yes, I know. I said, I'm sure she would be thrilled to get those. So she's like, oh, that's great. That's great. So when she came back, we brought them all in here and we said we would either donate them ourselves or if somebody wants them, we would sell them. Yeah. So. I don't know that I'm going to sell. There's, there's one I'm going to have to check on. It's, it's 1960s silk one, okay. the, the one that had silkworm yes, marks. Yes. I'm going to have to look that up because that would be the most desirable. Now that's also the smallest, so that's a hard mm -hmm. sell, but uh, I'll have to look at it. I, I might just donate it with the rest of them. So she was going to drop them off at Goodwill, which yes. was fine, Yes. but we actually know a better charity that has all volunteers and the money goes to um, the hospital for people. Oh, yeah, I, don't, I, can't I think remember. it's affiliated with the hospital. Yeah. It's M M N F, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever that is. It's the one my mom went to when she was here. Um, she showed it. So I think we'll probably do that in the next couple days because yes. my mom comes Wednesday 
and Bear Leaves Wednesday. That was kind of a last minute, last week decision. It was. And do you want to tell our Patreon peeps that little story? Before I do, I would like to tell them my first encounter as a child with the wedding dress. Please tell us. So when I was small, like, what was I probably? Single digits. Probably single digits around there. My one aunt got married, okay? Aunt Janet. My Aunt Janet, yes. And when I was in the church as a child waiting for her, I remember she showed up in the thing and I was just like, oh my gosh, I thought she was so <laughs> beautiful that, that I asked my mom if I could write her a letter. So after I, <laughs> I went home and I wrote her a letter and I don't remember all what I said, but one of the things I said is, I think you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that just touched her heart. And I sent it to her, so, yes. Very sweet. Have you ever asked her if she... She remembers... She me, remembers She that. remembers me writing that letter. I know she does because she told her one daughter. I wonder if she kept daughter. it. I don't know if she did or not. That's adorable. But, yes. Okay, so now the story about... What, what's the next story? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, yes. My girl's mom is coming down. Her name is Karen. You know her as a Lavender Clothesline. Yes. She's coming down for a few days. To, to visit. get her teeth. Uh, yeah, a follow up, a follow up appointment for her teeth, and it's only uh, Wednesday through Saturday, mm -hmm. and I try not to leave my girl alone at, too much at all. But since her mother will be here, I booked a flight to Pennsylvania the same day she's going to be here. So we almost would even be passing because the you will be passing the Allegiant flight goes directly from Harrisburg to Sarasota, you know, and... So you're going from, it's the Bradenton, Sarasota airport yeah, so to I'm, Harrisburg. Yes. When you touch down, we are thinking that's the same exact plane. My mom will then get on. Yes, and come here. And come here. And I will be able to use her car because her car will be left there. And then my car, will, our car will be left at the Bradenton airport. So she can just come there, pick it up, drive here and do whatever she does during those days. Yeah. And, and you guys can do lots of ha ha ha, that's great. My mom and I always laugh and have a, kind of a good time. Yes. So that's nice. So yeah, I'll, it is I'll, nice. I'll be going to Pennsylvania and just uh, some place where I used to, I go upside grew up in Pennsylvania, so I'll go ride around and see a few people and hang out for a couple days. You are going to see your dad's house. My dad's your house. Your dad built that house. His yes. brother built the house next door. They both worked on the houses. So yep. your aunt's house is still next door. That's correct. She still owns the house, but she's not living there anymore. Right. She's at a retirement she's community. She's a retirement community, yeah. We don't know that you're going to be able to get in to visit her. No, we don't. Um, you probably won't because yeah. Pennsylvania, you can't even go into a retirement community down here. And we're stages ahead of Pennsylvania at this yes. point as, yes. as far as the yes. virus. So I, I don't know that you'll be able to see her, but yeah. you'll be able to see a lot of other relatives. Oh, sure. sure. And friends mm -hmm. during sure. the time. You went, I think, two years ago. Two or three, I'm Maybe not sure. three, and yeah. my mom was down. Yes, and that um, was another time when That was else. kind of the same thing. Sort of, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you'll be able to walk the, which trail are you going to go to, the Blairsville? I don't know if I'll go there, but the Ghost Town Trail is in, is a famous trail in Pennsylvania in the uh, Vittendale, Wyrm, Dilltown, Dilltown, Blairsville area, and uh, those are all the, the those are all the trails that I walk for years. But it's funny because I actually remember as a kid when those trails were rails. I mean, they're, they, they were railroads. Yeah, they were railroads. That came up. That's what they've done with a lot of these new trails that are popping up. It's used to be where railroads were and they made them into trails because railroads can only be a certain incline. They have to the be. The slope has to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah so because so, all trails are pretty flat, so yeah. for the bikers and walkers. It's beautiful in that area. Yes. So, Dilltown has less than 60 people. I know we've said that before. And we lived maybe a couple miles from Dilltown. Yes. That was probably like the closest <laughs> town. Yes. And then Armagh yeah. has like over, just over a hundred people. And they have a subway. They have Subway now, yes, they do. Yes. And I think they have an, another restaurant type thing might have opened In up. In Arma? Opened up or something. There's, there's like a hundred people. How many restaurants there's something, they need? There's something that opened up there. We know Bulls Hot Dogs always has that place there. Yeah, yeah. And there's like a bingo hall, fire that's, hall. That's the volunteer fire company. Yes. It's a fire company that also has bingo. And they sell pizza. Well, they used to sell they pizza. They used to sell pizza. I don't know if they still do or not. Yeah. And um, Dilltown has the bed and breakfast. 
Yes. Which is run by people you know. Which is literally, yes. And it's right off the Ghost Town Trail. It's right off the Ghost Town Trail and it's attached to the only post office in Delltown. Well, it's not attached, but it's... Oh, is it attached? No, the post office here, you go across the thing and then... Oh, it's... it's yeah, okay. It's next building. And I remember the post office because the post office hours are Monday through Friday, not a huge deal, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And that's it. Pretty precise. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty precise. You can't get there between those two yeah. hours, you're done. Well, the post office isn't much bigger than this room. So. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a tough I mean, the back has some... Yeah. If you've never been to like a truly small town, I mean like under a hundred people small. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and it, I mean it's all it's just very rural, very country, and I know a lot of farms, Christmas tree farms. Yeah, I've said this before. I didn't realize how country I was till I moved here. Yes. Which I deem the city, and <laughs> my girl is telling me it's not the city. It's not the city. We have no high rises. Well, right across the street is the. It's like four, 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 four stories. Four story apartment building across the street. Where is there a four story apartment building in Gas Center? Where's the oh, closest there's one? Not, there's not. I mean, it's literally. I'm just saying that that's actually on a different county. Even the, the county zones are like right at our fence or okay. something. Remember? Here, down here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But still, past that one building, there's nothing. But anyways, it's still the city to me that I literally can drive one mile away. I'm one mile away from Home Depot. Yes, here well, it is. Yeah. yeah, which is so nice. Yeah, and I mean all the WalMarts, everything's yeah. super close. Like, we definitely live in the suburbs yeah. here. <laughs> it's not the. You same. see, I thought I lived in the suburbs. When I lived in Gas Center. But it blows my mind. <laughs> but, uh, we live next door to a small farm of like four hundred acres. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was pretty. <laughs> There's farms all around. So all, yeah. all around. Yeah. Actually, the Christmas tree farm. I might have a picture. They're selling it. You can yes, go buy yes. the Christmas tree farm. Well, I'm not moving back to Pennsylvania, I yeah. assure you. But yeah. yeah. If the weather got really good down there, up there, and they had some kind of really nice swimming place, we'd vaguely consider it for a second. Yeah, and some more retirement homes. Oh yeah, you'd need a job. For me to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna consider. No, we're not. Yeah. So where else do you plan on going to get some coconut cream pie? Well, the best coconut cream pie on the planet is at Dean's Diner in Blairsville, Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, because of COVID, they've been closed. Oh no! So I don't know if they're going to be back. I don't know if they're going to be back open or not by the time I go up there. But that's okay if they're not. So you know. Aww. And I'll go back to my friend lives close. I mean, her actually address is Indiana. I went to Indiana University of Pennsylvania, so I can go there and mill about. I usually, At the college. Yeah, yeah, I usually go in, now it's going to be summer, so, but I usually go into the gym and stuff. I don't know what it's going to be like with the COVID thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, and I mean. Because you're alumni. Yeah. You can get away with going into a few buildings. Yes, but maybe yes. not now. You're right. Maybe not now. I don't know what, the, yeah. what it was like, but it's okay. I'll just, I mean. There's, you're only there for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm only there for a couple of days. There's literally zillions of places I could go. Yeah, so you're going to stay with uh, probably our best friend, Dar, yeah. mm -hmm. who I've adopted her as one of my best friends. Yes. Because I love her so much. She's one of those people that people just love. You have to love her, yeah. And she knows her her life is a train wreck. <laughs> we all know it. It just makes her the most lovable person ever. Yes, it is. She's the most... She's actually... You, you're, you feel bad for her just being... I know, well, but you feel bad and you're still cracking up because yes. her stories are so good yes. and she's just so yes. tragically adorable. Yes. My mom used to get a very <laughs> large kick out of my friend Dar because my friend Dar would come to the house and our living room, like the one corner of the living room had like a hallway, like an archway. Yes, an arch. So door a doorway arch. A doorway, yeah. but with my mom sat in a corner of the room, you could yes. like you could like walk through this arch in front of her, walk around behind her, and then there's another hallway and just walk this little circle. But the arches. Dar used to walk around there as she's talking to my mom. Why? She's she's young. She's, yeah, yeah, she, she didn't use, so she would just walk around the circle. She's bitchy. Yeah, she thought my yeah. mom thought that was my mom and sister have also met Dar. Yeah. They also love her. Like oh, everybody yeah. loves her. Oh you have to love Dar. Yeah. So she lives with her parents now. She still has a house. She's still a part time uh, labor and delivery nurse. She's been a labor and delivery nurse for probably three or four decades now. <laughs> I don't know, yes. Yeah, a so long time. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're going to stay with her two nights Yep. and then you're going to head toward Bedford, Pennsylvania. Yes. My, my one friend Dale and Sandy now have a giant, uh, 
compound. spread. And <laughs> actually, they're uh, started. Well, they've actually they are doing an equestrian business. They even yeah, they have an equestrian center on their property. They have a very large mansion log cabin. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like a mansion. It's mansion. it's a log cabin. Yes. They actually had the logs carved and did yes. a ton of the work. Um, yes, yes, they the, did a lot the, of work. So much. Yes. They have heated pavement outside. Yeah. So when it snows, they don't have to shovel the pavement. My friend's the president of a mm -hmm. large company in New York, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So, but he's actually having another building built, but they already have a, it's like you would see a professional training center with the ring that you can, they have a balcony up the top, you can look down. Yeah, they working. have thoroughbred horses. Do they have rescues? They don't have well? thoroughbred horses. They, uh, One of them is. A thoroughbred? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know they just hired an extra, my, my friend's wife, Sandy, who's also my friend, uh, is a trainer, horse trainer. Yes. She's uh, learned to be a horse trainer, but they've also now hired an extra guy. Did they? Yeah, Good. Definitely. Good. I'm glad they're, to, the, they're yeah. growing the business. She loves horses. So yes. That's really sweet. And my friend Dale and my other buddy, Gare, Gary, they married sisters. Yes. Okay, they married sisters. The, the, the way that that happened is Gary and I used to go roller skating. Yes. <laughs> So, in order to go roller skating from where we lived, you had to go to Johnstown. So oh yeah, you drive it was like to half John, hour. Yeah, you had to drive Johnstown. But while we were there, we met Dale. Okay. And one, actually, I kind of met Dale first. And one night, Dale said to me, "We're going to go to Denny's afterwards. You guys want to come along?" So I didn't know if Gary wanted to go. So I went and said to Gary, and he's like, "Yeah, we'll go." So that started the friendship, and now those guys are, I mean, they're together. And you hung out with them like every day. Oh, for yeah. Years for and years, years, and years and years. The three of us were always out. How many years do you think you did something? that? Like maybe 10 or 15 years? Well, yeah. I mean, geez. Yes. I mean, I was on the golf team with Gary's brother. So, yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, so it goes back a long, long, yeah. lot of years. Yep. We, so you were always invited to their holiday parties and kids' graduations. And we did mm -hmm. all of that when I was feeling good and we, we lived there. Mm -hmm. So it's nice that you'll be able to stay at their compound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I'll just leave from there. Uh, back to Harris. Yeah. Because they live in. Uh, is it Bedford? It's not Bedford. What is the, I think of the... the, the it's dress. the outskirts of, again, they have a lot of property. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, but property it's... Property is it's, cheap it's, in Pennsylvania. It's a couple hours, a couple hours or so from, from Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Yeah. And then you'll drop the, my mom's car back off at the Harrisburg airport. Yep. Fly, and she'll be doing the same thing. Yes. Now, will I, will we see, I'm... You might see her so again. So she, she's coming in when I'm going, that's yeah. probably the same plane again. Yeah, probably, same plane, yeah. Probably again, yeah. So your plane will go, mm -hmm. she'll go, and then you'll come back, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll only be away from you for a couple hours, and I do really well during the day. Mm -hmm. Nighttime's a little shaky. Yeah, right, but you know, your mom will be here. Yeah. And, and we, I mean, thanks to the current technology, we're able, and uh, thanks to the current technology, we're able to keep in touch. Uh, we'll Vox, be fine. Voxer's a wonderful thing, we use yeah. Voxer a lot. Um, I used to write my girl a note at night before, because we, as we told you before, sleep in separate rooms and uh, I'm up really late and she goes to bed fairly early. Uh, although that's not been the case lately. Because, I know. <laughs> so. I cycled off sleeping nights again. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I used to write her a note, but now I can just leave her a Voxer. A Voxer is just like, a, it's essentially voicemail. a voicemail, but you don't have to actually call the phone, you just push a button. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. We could Skype if you really wanted to do that. Or like FaceTime or Well I'm sure I'll miss you, but we'll be okay. <laughs> right? I know, right? You don't need to see my face. Right? I don't need to see it. Yeah. I'll I'll sketch you as we You sketch me? Yeah. How about if I sketch you? Go for it. No way. <laughs> I'll be like just a stick figure. Yeah. Okay. Have anything else to tell the peeps? You wanna tell them about your finger really quickly? Oh, finger. Uh nine stitches in that finger because the exhaust fan in one of our bathrooms was starting to go bad so i was putting a new one in uh but it needed a little the one i was putting in needed the, the cord to be a little bit longer to plug in so i was like stripping the wires so you know if you know anything about wire strippers sometimes when you pull them they just let go all at once well that let go all at once and there was a the metal box that holds that fan just slice my finger open and we had to go to the emergency room and have nine stitches in it. But fortunately, I'm not playing currently because of the COVID thing. So um, I'm sure 
the it's only gonna hurt just a little bit to bend it for the guitar. Yeah, it's healing right. really well too. Healing, healing really well. And I plan on taking the stitches out possibly in a couple days. I and think. amazingly, I mean, it hurt when I did it, of course. But yeah. My girl took good care of me. She always does because you know, you're like, oh, he's probably a baby. But it was no, <laughs> you were really good. I, uh, you were like, maybe we don't have to go to the emergency yeah. room. And I'm like, yeah, because yeah. things. Oh yeah, the yeah. skin was flapped open. Yeah. Like, but uh, the worst part of you it. You came close to the bone. Oh yeah. Yeah. The worst part of it was uh, they put they had to put the numbing injection mm -hmm. to sew. It, it wasn't lidocaine; it was something other. Directly pain. into the shot, directly into the already <laughs> traumatized finger. So, but past that, amazingly, it hasn't hurt at all. Unless I bump it. Yeah. It it's, it hasn't even it hasn't even done like you know usually cuts a, or hurts a lot of the thumb. Though. Yeah. But it hasn't done anything. It doesn't. So, yeah, you've yeah. done great. Was that the same finger you cut? Last year, the year before, do you think? Uh, I know you I, got your thumb. I don't, I don't, there was another so. finger. Yeah, you don't I, don't, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. Eh. Another two years, we'll just go back to ER for stitches. No. Okay. All right, is that it? What are we doing for the rest of the day? This is more for us and not for them. They don't care. No, I don't know. We have to... We put some wedding dresses away. Yeah. I just have like a giant pile of wedding dresses. Yes. So, thanks for being a good sport about that. Of course. That's fun. I love you. I love you. Okay. We'll talk yeah. to you soon. Bye. Oh, oh, no. This is just for Patreon. Oh, it's just for Patreon? Just for Patreon. Okay. 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 See you later, Patreon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.